Hi guys. I wanted to send you a message and a reminder of... I don't know if you know that situation, but you meet someone from the past or you see someone in the past. Uh, there are some memes out there actually about that. When we see someone in the grocery store we would known from 10 years ago and we hide between uh, or behind some um, shelves or whatever. Um, and we, we start hiding because we don't want to communicate or we don't want to talk about um, how we are and where we've been, what we've been up to, because we a lot of times feel ashamed for our journey. And um, the reason for that is uh, usually to fear judgment of others. But a lot of times what we believe we are being judged for is actually a lot of times what people feel like um, first of all if they judge us they feel they are actually judgmental about themselves um, but besides that a lot of times what we feel like we where we feel like we've been um, failing in life is a lot of times that what is appreciated by others or honored by others or uh, respected by others so a lot of times what feels for me like failure when i didn't know anything in the physical um, any goals in the physical because i'm a light worker and i'm a star seed and i'm an empath and i'm a highly sensitive person so everything in the physical that had to do with other people with feeling stable and uh, grounded on my own and feeling like I was able to set boundaries was just never really um, there, was just never really um, an easy thing for me to do. Like feeling I could be around people without losing um, a sense of self or my boundaries was just always a struggle for me personal so a lot of times what feels like failure because instead of setting goals and knowing what I want to achieve in a specific profession um, felt like I was failing for other people's consideration of what's proper and what what you just do as a human as a proper human being right um but a lot of times when i open when i chose to open up about my journey uh about like what i've been struggling with or what feels like i've been failing but a lot of people see it as exciting or adventurous like instead of going to uh university i would just travel the world because i love traveling and because i love exploring and i love meeting other people and meeting meeting cultures and like as well as the spiritual journey within you experience when you are on your own in other countries was just a lot of time surprisingly what was honoring what people honored about me and a lot of times what I considered proper in others was what they would feel insecure about. So let's say they finished university and they had a job and they buy a house and get a car and have children or maybe just like live on their own and go to work. And then I would hear them talk about that they never traveled and they never uh broke out of the system basically and they never explored the world and they would love to travel but they always were too scared it's funny because i never considered myself um in any way courageous to travel on my own because it was the natu most natural thing for me to do i always felt like Oh my god no human interaction not needing to be social i just be on my own and on 
while traveling i was always being social with other people i would always meet other people i would always hang out with other people go on adventures with other people um and it was it was never something i considered needing courage to do because it was the most natural thing for me to do to be on the road and to be traveling so a lot of times when we think we're being judged by others first of all if people do judge you it has a lot of to do with their own insecurities with their own ego with their own fear of not being proper and you might be surprised when you actually open up about your struggles or your life journey that a lot of people don't judge you but find it quite interesting or find it um, quite um, courageous or adventurous to do the things that you do because I look at people who have a stable job and um, have a have a home and have their circle of friends or have a, like a sanctuary where they feel like at peace and at home and I honor that and I admire that I admire everyone who knew exactly um their path or their goals or their their achievements in the physical what they wanted to achieve in the physical because i was never anywhere close to knowing my goals and my path which had a lot to do with my purpose in this world which is not which has not to do not a lot to do with the physical but with my vibration, with my frequency, with my energy, with um, me being very present and having the purpose of raising consciousness or being very conscious and trusting my guides and trusting my higher selves and trusting the transformation and trusting... Um, oh, there was a bird... Sorry, and trusting my transformation and trusting my journey and, and trusting the unfolding because a lot of times what we do in our first years is figuring out who we are, maybe tr uh, healing some trauma, maybe uh, raising our vibration, maybe becoming aware of what needs to be healed. And a lot of times for star seeds, for light workers, for empath, for the supernova soul, whatever you want to call it. We bring a lot of karma because a lot of times when we come with heightened consciousness and awareness, we've seen a lot of stuff in past lives. And chances are we have to heal that first before we can feel really safe and grounded and stable in ourselves in this world, which is so different from our vibration quite often. And um that's just the the light worker journey of learning to feel stable and safe and grounded and finding ways to um work with your own gifts and abilities that are seemingly rejected in this world but actually are very very needed um for the new earth we are currently building on on this in this world right and a lot of times when we open up we might be surprised of people being much more aware or much more honoring our journey what we felt like where we felt like we we failed or didn't do a proper job to fit in but a lot of time people honor an adventurous soul, a soul that actually doesn't fit in because deep down they know that there are new ways and new paths to be walked or to be looked at and the world is changing so rapidly so a lot of times um, someone who is not conforming is actually an inspiration to um, 
to those around them in whatever kind of way, even if 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 your parents feel triggered by your path. Um, even then you might be of service to them. You and they might not know and you might not know, but it might be part of your purpose to trigger a few and inspire a few. Um, and whoever feels triggered or inspired, it's never your job to look around and, and ask yourself, am I doing it right? It's always your, your job to listen to yourself and be aware of your own intuition and needs on that journey here. So that was more like an intuitive message for you today. I hope it was helpful regardless. It's um, um, it's just a lot of times that when we think we, we what feels uh, to, to be judged by others or what, we, what we're judging about ourselves is not at all what other people would judge us for. A lot of times it's what people find inspiring. And if you've grown up in an environment where you've always felt like the black sheep, always felt like you don't belong, you're such an alien, you don't belong here, it's weird, what are you doing here? When we grow up in that environment, we believe that, and we've learned that something is inherently wrong with us and our needs and our intuitive gifts and our abilities and our sensitivities uh, we believe the whole world would perceive us per perceive us a, a, like this and see it see us at this weirdo who doesn't belong here but that's not quite the truth and the, the the moment you break out of that environment where you felt judged and not supported you might be surprised by also how people are seeing you and not judging you and also the moment you learn to see yourself fully and accept start to accept your tendencies and your gifts and abilities and talents and where you feel like you are where you feel like you belong or where you feel like what just feels true to you the moment you learn to accept that which is not a moment, it's more like a path, um, you will be surprised by the people who come into your life and perceive you a lot less weird than the people you grew up with. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, like I said, just an intuitive message for today. Uh, I sometimes start with a certain... Uh, certain theme or subject and it might change during my speech <laughs> during my uh, like I start channeling some kind of energy that I didn't see uh, or receive before so yeah I think it's still of value and I hope it was helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day bye bye